Today I want to help you figure out how to practice when you're tired. We all know that feeling of being completely exhausted. Maybe you had a full day of rehearsals and then afterwards you have a couple hours and you know you should go into the practice room and practice just for a little bit. I felt this way a lot when I was practicing for my med audition. It would get to be about 10 p.m. and I felt like, well, this was a good practice day. I'm stopping at 10. If anybody else were to look at my practice schedule and say, oh, he stopped at 10, that would be totally legitimate. But I really wanted that job and I think part of what helped me develop those excerpts to be good enough is that even at 10, I would say, no, I'm staying. I'm staying till 10.30. I'm staying till 11. I'm staying till 12. Even when I got tired, I was able to will myself to stay and that helped my excerpts. If your plan is to become an exceptional musician, your level is a direct reflection of your practice habits. The great professional musicians around the world look back at their past and their practice habits and remember all the tired nights that they spent going the extra mile for every project along the way as much as they could. So you're gonna have to do the same thing. Find ways to trick yourself into being in the practice room more and to be more productive when you're in there, even when you're tired. So I made something for you called the Practicing When Tired Checklist. It's something you can download to your phone or to your computer. And when you get tired, you can take a look at this checklist and remind yourself of ways to be more productive. You can download that right now at robnopper.com slash practice tired. All right, let me tell you about how I think about productivity. It's a mathematical equation and looking at that equation is gonna help us figure out how to practice better when we're tired. All right, here's the equation. It's time spent practicing multiplied by how productive you are in the practice room, which I call the productivity rating, equals your output. And your output might be measured in how many problems you solved, how many notes you learned, how many recordings you listened to, or any other measurement of productivity according to whatever exercise you're doing. In my tips today, I'm gonna to help you figure out how to increase your time spent practicing when you're tired, how to improve your productivity rating when you're tired, so that you can still get the best output at the end of your practice session. All right, the first question is, how do you decide if you even should practice when you're tired? So say you come back after a long day of playing gigs and rehearsals and different things like that. You have a couple hours at night and you're tired and you don't know if you should practice or if you should just not practice, go home, sleep, or do something else besides practicing. If you spend time practicing, even if you're not being very productive at all, you're still gonna have some output. It might be close to zero, but it'll be greater than zero at least by a little bit. But if you don't practice now and you sleep or you take a rest or you do something that's refreshing, then tomorrow when you're practicing, your productivity rating itself will be higher, you'll be more productive, and so therefore your output of tomorrow's practice might be a lot better. Rather than thinking about it as tonight's practice and separately tomorrow's practice, think of it as a unit. Over two days, is it better to practice two hours tonight and six hours tomorrow, the whole thing having a lower productivity rating? Or if you take it as a unit of two days, is it better if you skip tonight and only practice tomorrow completely refreshed with a maximum productivity rating. You can decide this on a case-by-case -case basis, but it usually depends on how tired you are, how little time you have to work tonight, and how much of your time are you actually going to trade to make tomorrow's practice better. Like, are you really gonna go to sleep pretty soon if you don't practice? Just know that in the vast majority of times, I usually pick the option to go practice, and it should be rare and uncommon for you to decide not to practice. All right, so if you do decide to practice when you're tired, here's three tips to make your practicing more productive. The first idea is to break a project into bite-sized, manageable chunks. When I think about self-recording, it seems like a big, overwhelming project to me. I know that it's going to be difficult, there's a lot of parts, there's a lot of recording, listening back. When I think about self-recording as a whole, it seems overwhelming, especially when I'm tired. But here's what doesn't seem overwhelming. Walking to my locker and taking out the microphone. Then, taking the microphone and putting it on the microphone stand. Step 16, press record on my computer. Step 17, play through the excerpt once. Step 18, press stop on my computer. If you think about the simple act of completing one tiny bite-sized chunk of a step, that seems much more easy and likely than diving into a big project like self-recording. If you were to take each project that you do in the practice room and write it out into a recipe that is consisting of individual bite-sized steps, it's easier to go from one step to the next to the next rather than just think about it as a whole project. Even if you don't reach the end, you still made more progress and potentially had a bigger productive output 
than if you hadn't started at all. Tip number two is to incentivize yourself to go into the practice room. When I get home from work, I have a Super Mario game sitting on my couch and I want to start playing it. It's not healthy, it's not good for me to start playing that, but I want to anyways. That Super Mario game is filled with colorful lights and flashing things and jumping turtles. You can earn coins, you can earn points, you can save the princess. All of these different aspects of the game release the right chemical in my brain to get me to want to come back. Oh. Oh. It might sound dumb to treat yourself like a dog and try to incentivize yourself or trick yourself into going into the practice room, but think about this. If you can find a way to make practicing fun or to make yourself want to go into the practice room, your overall practice time is going to be more. You're going to increase this side of the equation, thus increasing your productive output. For me, I watch TV at the beginning of my practice session while I do my technique work. Put it out there because that's what you do. It works really well for me to improve that technique and it motivates me because I want to watch that next episode of The Office or of Lost or whatever it is. That's what draws me in and I know that works for me. Maybe something that's fun for you is sight reading some other instrument's parts as you listen through a Beethoven symphony. Maybe what's fun for you is to do some jazz improvisation over a track or to play along with a U2 song. Maybe you give yourself a reward. After 15 minutes of practicing, you unlock an achievement and you are allowed to eat one chocolate out of the box. Whatever it is, you should trick yourself and train yourself that the practice room is a place where fun things happen. Idea number three is to keep a list of low brain power activities that you can do when you're tired. This one helps the other side of the equation to improve your productivity rating in the practice room. I would do something like do some more technique work in front of the TV. Or maybe my note learning process is very repetitive and it's something that I can do in a kind of meditative state and mindlessly. So sometimes I'll go to my note learning process when I'm tired. You should try to notice when you're at full brain power and when you're at low brain power. And when you're at full brain power, capitalize on that focus by doing the higher brain power activities like self-recording or mock auditions. And then when you get tired, have that short list of things that you can revert to when you know that you're not gonna be very good at those higher brain power activities. Whatever you've been recently doing, say you've been studying a lot of recordings or say you've been doing a lot of note learning or something like that, whatever you've already been doing, it'll be easier to continue doing because transitioning between exercises or activities takes a lot of brain power. So just continue in the routine of whatever you've already been working on. But like I mentioned, if you wanna be exceptional, the decision shouldn't always be whether you do or do not practice when you're tired. The question should be, how can you trick yourself into going into the practice room rather than not? How can you trick yourself into starting earlier and going until later? And how can you find ways to be as productive as possible even in those non-ideal situations like when you're tired? Every ounce of effort and creative problem solving in your practice equals more precise rhythms in the audition or more creative musical phrases when you're actually performing. And to build that level you need in your playing, it's the sum total of all the cumulative life of work that you've put into it. There are going to be other musicians out there who don't take a break, who don't stop practicing, who find ways of being more productive. So if you want to be able to compete with them, you can't give yourself the disadvantage of always saying, no, I'm done practicing when I'm tired. But if you do find a way of being maximally productive as often as possible, then that is going to have a positive effect on your overall musicianship eventually. So if you want to get a copy of this Practicing While Tired checklist so that you can start incorporating it into your life, go ahead and go check out robnopper.com slash practice tired. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be coming out with a lot of videos about how to make your practice habits more effective soon. Thanks for watching.